Night markets in Taiwan. Let me show you what makes these particular markets so special. What's up guys, welcome back to the Reformat Show. My name is Matt and in today's episode, I'm going to show you 10 Taiwanese street foods you must try here in Taipei. So let's go on a massive street food adventure because I'm starving. Taipei is considered by many to be the food capital of Asia and that's the primary reason why I'm here. Taiwanese night markets are loaded with the most bizarre foods I have ever seen. These markets are open from late afternoon until midnight every single day and they are an integral part to the Taiwanese identity. So let's start this street food adventure at the largest night market of Taipei. Alright guys, we're here at the Shuling Night Market and I'm taking you guys on an insane food adventure. And dive right into one of the most popular street foods here in Taiwan. Hot Star Giant Fried Chicken. <laughs> if you really want to go big at the Shilling Night Market, the large fried chicken cutlet. I mean, look at this sucker. It's massive. Made it a little bit spicy by like adding a little bit of seasoning, spicy seasoning. Ah! As you can see, it's blazing hot. Give it a few seconds to cool down. Oh! My God. Oh, that's great. That's great. I mean, look at it. Compared to my face, it's massive. The best part. It's nice and juicy inside, perfectly fried. Hot Star Chicken is so popular that you can expect long waiting lines, but it's totally worth it. Next, the black pepper pork bun. Another popular item here at the market is the black pepper pork bun. Look at this thing. So instead of a dumpling, this is actually made in a clay oven. Wow, nice, nice. Pork, green onion and black pepper. Delicious and so juicy. These delicious crispy buns will set you back around 50 NT. Now the most recommended dish here at the Shillin Night Market is the oyster omelette. An omelette stuffed with small oysters and fried with pig fat. This man knows his oysters very well. This oyster omelette contains bok choy, local oysters, egg of course, and a bean curd sauce. Oh, oh, oh. Fresh. Oh, wow. That bean curd sauce really adds a nice sweet flavor to the more salty oyster. So it's like a sweet and salty omelette, but absolutely delicious. Now one of my personal favorites here in Taiwan is the stinky tofu. It's stinky because it's fermented tofu. The scent is so strong that you can smell it from miles away. <laughs> this place is a feast for my nostrils. My god. The food selection here is out of control. So many different things to try. Now this may look creepy, but it's all vegetarian. Night markets truly offer a wide variety of street foods to anyone. Now if you're like duck, there is plenty of selection here as well. Just make sure you watch my entire duck review by clicking on the special link in the description box below. Other bizarre foods you may want to try are these frog eggs. Uh, no. As for treats, this is a typical Chinese dessert. Douhua is made from very soft tofu with a sweet syrup infused with ginger. All right, so let me translate here. So these are the options. It's 50 Taiwan dollars for one dessert. The toppings, three toppings, or you can even choose four toppings. So this is sweet bean curd with peanuts, and I chose red beans as well. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. This is the Douhua version. Doha, which is the wider version of it. The good thing about this dessert, it's not overwhelmingly sweet. It has a nice balance. Definitely give this a try while you're in the Shilling Night Market. Besides food, night markets also offer a ton of fun street games amid a very cozy and warm atmosphere. Shrimp fishing, for instance, or just throwing a bunch of balls around. Opa Gundam style, let's throw some balls. Well, at least they gave me a little Totoro. Thank you. Alrighty, next stop, the Linjiang Night Market, better known to the locals here as the Tonghua Night Market, which I visited with friends who I dragged out of Michelin star restaurant Din Tai Fong. The Tonghua Night Market is not as touristy compared to the Shilling Night Market. This place is definitely more authentic. That's why you will find the most bizarre street foods here. The selection of food here is absolutely immense. Huh. 
how about some rooster combs? Now we specifically came here to try out the pig blood cake, which is basically hardened pig blood rolled into peanuts and cilantro. All right guys, now it's time for Grandma Tseng's pig blood cake. Pig blood cake. Cheers. Pig blood bro. Oh. Smells nice. It's really interesting. I don't know if I like it. No, I'm, I'm not feeling it. It's definitely an acquired taste. Now, if you want to play it safe, go for the sugar apple. These things are so sweet and delicious. Sugar apple. Wow, that's amazing. Or grab a typical Taiwanese pork bao. These puppies are absolutely delicious. Just 55 NT per bao. Don't get fooled by their small size. These baos are actually quite a heavy meal. The Taiwanese bao. She got bow. Mm. Oh man. Those peanuts. Those peanuts really make it. That is delicious pork belly. Oh my god. Now the one item I did not find, but is worth mentioning, these very special waffles. Now that's what I call true food porn. As for games, at this night market you also find a ton of fun street games to play. Games all over the place. This place is awesome. Come on. And just make sure you stack up on underwear, especially after this Taiwanese street food adventure. As for a bonus tip, head out to the Huashi Night Market, where you'll find the mysterious snake alleyway for some snake venom, snake blood, and snake skin salad. But for that video, you'll have to watch my full episode on the snake alleyway. The link again is in the description box below. Taiwan is absolutely the mecca for foodies. The selection is just mind-boggling night markets are even considered the most popular tourist attraction here in taiwan and the ultimate retreat for budget travelers the food is just so incredibly cheap it's crazy now head over to my website reformat.com to download a complete map with all the exact locations of all the foods i mentioned in this video now there are definitely way more street foods i could have reviewed but i'll leave those for upcoming episodes so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned now as always i have another question for you which Taiwanese street food I ate in this video would you like to try the most? And if you already had Taiwanese street food, which street food item do you like the most? I'm dying to know. Now, make your next reformat episode selection. One of these.